video disc on throttle body fuel injection theory of operation. And you need to be thoroughly acquainted with the test. We check the tester through the vehicle use and a series of diagnostic charts typical passes test appears. It is also expressed in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. The manifold absolute pressure or MAP sensor vacuum is displayed as inches of mercury. The MAP sensor is the main source of engine load information. Or you may choose barometric pressure. A good MAP sensor will read within six tenths of an inch or 14 millibars of the current barometric pressure adjusted to sea level. The best time to check this is also immediately after starting the engine. The closed throttle switch status is expressed as closed or open. The wide open throttle switch status should show closed at wide open throttle. Engine speed, of course, is displayed in revolutions per minute. On 2.46 liter systems, the throttle position sensor status is expressed in units. At idle, a good sensor should read below 60. The knock sensor input shows a noise volume from 0 to 255 units. Controlled spark noise volume averages below 100. A normal knock sensor will have volume above 5. A bad or disconnected sensor won't read above 10. Values above 252 indicate shorted sensor wires. The spark advance is expressed in degrees. Integrator values are also displayed in units between 0 and 255, although these extremes are seldom reached because of the ECU or O2 sensor reactions. In open loop, the integrator display remains at 128. During closed loop, the ECU uses the integrator to vary injector pulse width based on O2 sensor input. If there's a rich mixture, the ECU uses the integrator to decrease the amount of fuel supplied to the engine. In a lean condition, the amount of fuel is increased. I also want to mention ECU hardware values used with most TBI systems. ECU hardware values refers to components that are related to the system but are not involved with the direct air-fuel ratio control. They can be viewed in the same way as state display is. Hardware values include the idle speed control motor operation status and the EGR canister purge on and off operation. The power latch status shows an on or off relay operation. The AC clutch and the fuel pump operations are also shown in either on or off status. Let me re-emphasize your importance when using the tester. You determine when you need the information. How you get it, interpret it, and use it is all up to you. Remember, we haven't covered everything the tester and state display can do to help you in your diagnosis, so be sure to check the proper tester manual for the details of each system. With that in mind, let's stop and review some of the things we've just covered. That's outstanding. A tricky question. Gotcha. When dealing with TBI problems, there are a few basic steps we can use to solve them most effectively. A good troubleshooting procedure simplifies identifying the problem and solution. Our six-step troubleshooting procedure can save you time as you apply it to throttle body fuel injection problems. It helps prevent random guesswork. The first step is to verify the complaint. Does the problem really exist? Note the symptoms. This may require a short road test. For example, an engine that is hard to start when warm. You'd want to see whether it is indeed hard to start under the condition when the problem was noticed, when the engine is warm. The second step is to determine related symptoms. Generally, you start doing this as you verify the complaint. In our example, we do this by listening to the engine cranking speed and sound. We're satisfied with the repairs. That's it. 
Now, before we finish this side of the disc, let's just look at all the steps once more. They are, one, verify the complaint. Two, determine related symptoms. Three, analyze the trouble. Four, isolate the trouble. Five, correct the problem. And six, check for proper operation. That should cover it. I know there's been a lot to cover in a short time, but I hope this will prove helpful to you when you apply it to your diagnosis. And of course, always refer to your manuals to check specific TBI system information. In addition to this in-dealership training program, there are many other parts and service training courses available. This catalog details each of the courses that are offered for dealership personnel. For valuable hands-on technical training, plan to attend these courses, which are offered at all AMC Jeep Renault training centers. Some of these courses are also available at vocational schools conveniently located across the country.